coordinates locked. What's going on everybody? This is the Game Hunter channel, another episode of Empires and Allies. Yes, we're back after that amazing interview with Mark Skaggs. It's, well, that was actually like a dream come true, fellas. Trust me in that one. Big fan of Red Alert, Common and Conquer, Dune, and most of the games that Mark has been involved. Alright, so let's get into this. Let's continue. Let's continue with the campaign. Let's start moving forward. Uh, as you can see in the bottom right corner, we have the game cam. That is a new addition to my channel. I'm going to be in most of my videos. I'm going to be adding this game cam so you guys can see what I'm doing in the game, which I believe is really cool. One of the things that I, well, it probably is new compared with the previous episode is uh, we have an extra unit. We got a new unit called the Steel Tank. Damage 30, stun duration 2.2 seconds. Yeah, stun duration? Yeah, stun? Really? <laughs> Invisible hunters fire an EMP burst. Steel tank can shut down enemy defenses. That is super, super cool. I, at, at the beginning, I wasn't sure what was the steel tank for. I thought, well, like, okay, maybe it's a tank that is going to just disappear and then it's going to show up to, to just. Uh, it's not going to reveal the, uh, its position until it starts shooting the enemy. But, surprise, surprise, EMP burst. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Lots of potential, lots of potential. All right, so that's probably one of the units that we're going to use in this episode. And I think it's time to fight against the lion. Yes, I believe that's the last one. Yes, the General Suvari Uba. The lion. Okay, let's get into this one. Let's try to scout and finish this guy. I'm probably try to free. Let's try to free Africa. Okay. Well, this one is not really that complicated. This base is quite, quite, quite simple. It's already spread out. Yeah, you can see things coming from all over the place. The tricky part is that it's only two deployment areas, which is those two over here. Those two. So that could be the only trick. Besides that, I don't see any big problem. We should easily bring down this base. So let's get into this, okay? Let's attack. I'm gonna try to use the stunt, uh, but stunt, <laughs> steel tank, because they're so cool. Okay, arrogance. You did disturb the lion in his den. Go ahead, jackal. Make your move. Well, I'm gonna definitely gonna make my move. Um, thinking of what could be the best way to do this, we're gonna probably put the A10 in this area. Yep, I think that was a good idea. <laughs> I think that was definitely a good idea. Now we have plenty of space or time to deploy the rest of the unit. We're gonna be deploying per squad now. Remember, I was deploying per unit in the previous episode. Now we're gonna deploy per squad. We're gonna deploy all our units in this tile over here because we are completely, completely out of range of the commanders that are defending this base, so we don't need that. Let's get the still tank in position. We're moving forward. We got some extra. Extra command points that we can use easily. Okay, let's regroup because I see the defensive units are getting close to. Wow, okay. Wow, those commandos went down in two seconds. Two seconds. That was just amazing. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> definitely getting the going down with the Tomahawk. It looks like the Tomahawk is way too powerful for this guy. Look at that. Tomahawk is bringing down those buildings like nothing. Wow, I, I, I really felt bad attacking these poor fellas. The lion, not so lion. Not, not really a lion, right? <laughs> Another new addition to my arsenal is this new command attack, which is the... Look at this. This is little fella over here. It's the orbital strike. Nice. This is so cool. We got it for a limited duration. But still, was super, super cool. That is a great, great, great addition to the game. Okay, we can finish this one with it. Orbital strike? No? Oh, it was so close. Wow, that lion, you have disgraced me in front of my people. I will not forget this. Well, you better forget, my friend. <laughs> because we are on fire. Okay, we only lost five troops. Nothing. Nothing. Highly recommended to do the campaign. Okay, highly recommend it because you can get some really good loot. Um, plus, you can practice with your troops before moving into a more advanced multiplayer. All right, let's get the Ready troops that we need because we just lost a couple of uh, soldiers. Ready for deployment. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. 
Okay, we should be able to get these guys in a few seconds. And I tried to upgrade everything uh, in order to move Morgan. forward to level 11. That's my next target, headquarter Ranger level here. 11. Definitely, definitely something that I, I want to achieve in the next, probably in the next week and something. Here. So, chances are in the next episode Ranger we're going to dedicate our time to do a lot, a lot of PvP. Alright, so let's continue with the campaign. It's time to move. Where are we going? We can go to the... Southern Europe, or we can go to the Middle East. Hmm. Either way is fine, right? Let's go to the Middle East for now. Perfect. All right, let's start attacking from here. Jordania, let's scout and see what we have. I want to hear your opinion. What do you think about Empires and Allies? Really soon, we expect that uh, hopefully we're going to receive a, a patch. Um, and things are getting really, really really nice with this game okay let's attack in here um, as you guys remember I was able to get some minimal information from mr. Mark Skaggs about the future of empires and allies hopefully I was able to get something important I think I did <laughs> okay so what are we doing in here let's wait for the we got only two tanks this should be really easy to destroy we can probably put the a10 in this location once the tank start, okay, tank decide to go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thought we were going the other direction, but that's okay. Oh, I missed that one. I missed that one. That was a perfect, perfect opportunity. My idea was to bring down both tanks with the A10, but that's okay. All right, let's get together with the troops. We can deploy some infantry in here. Infantry in here. Are we moving forward? Let's deploy our troops. Uh, the doctor is going. I don't know where. Doctor, let's, let's focus, my friend. Tomahawks. And here we go. Right, we got a couple of uh, fancy, fancy defensive builders in front. With my, my ranger, should be able to bring down. Look at that, bring down those tanks like nothing. Infantry is super, super powerful, as you guys remember. All right, so what else we can use in here? We can definitely use the ion cannon. Ion cannon. Orbital strike. Here we go. Orbital strike gonna bring down that. Let's bring down the. Okay, another one. Okay, that was really. Really, really fast. Orbital strike was extremely, extremely, extremely powerful. All right, where are the rest of the troops? We definitely. Oh wow. Okay, no, I, can't, I don't even have a chance to talk now. It's just like these guys are so powerful. They just move forward, destroying everything. Okay, well, I'll take that. I'm really proud of my soldiers. A10 in the middle. Let's see if we can destroy those buildings in one go. Perfect. Let's destroy the last one also with an A10 because that's the last one, I believe. And victory sours. That wasn't really a problem. But again, look at that. Look at all the loot that you get. That's that's the cool part. Especially if you start playing the game. Highly recommended to go and play the campaign. Okay? Super, super important. Alright, let me see. Do I have any troops that I need? Let me double check. Let me double check. I also, also want to see if I can go to the other... To the other part. Probably Europe. I'm not really sure if I can do that at the same time. We're going to double check that in a second. Alright, so another thing that we should be doing... Of course, strike force. Let's use a strike force. Let's add a strike force for the tanks over Four here. Yeah. It's over Four strike force for some of the infantries. And again, another. Um, in. Probably with the in. infantry too. Okay, perfect. So now we got these troops. We should be ready to go. Reporting nice. In. Nice. I need to Reporting start upgrading in. a couple things. One is the tarmac. Reporting and the other thing I wanted to upgrade right is the. Well, the artillery is okay. Right the artillery is level 8. Probably start upgrading some of the supply right drops. Here. Probably oh, all the supply drops are level 8, if I'm not wrong. Right? Let's use one 9. Sorry. This one's also 9. Yes. Every single one is 9. Okay. Troops are ready. Oh, wow. That was really fast. All right. Let's go. I want to double check if we can go in the other direction. Can we go over here? Oh, no. Oh, okay. So I need to finish the Middle East before moving to the next target. Okay. That's fine. Let's go to the next one. Iraq. Time to scout. And see what we can do in this one. Let's analyze this base. We got um, uh, artillery right here, which could be trouble. That's one of the things that we always need to bring down as soon as possible. Uh, this shouldn't be a problem. So actually, we should just go ahead and start attacking. Let's charge, fellas. Charge. Um, always when there's artillery, you try to protect your... You're going to try to the protect on my infantry a little bit. Because otherwise, the artillery is going to bring down the those guys in two seconds. Okay. Let's use the steel tanks. The See if they can shut down that defensive turret. That would be awesome. The steel tank. Where did my steel tanks are going? Oh, they, they just... They took off. Look at that. Look at these guys. These guys took off. They're going to start shutting down the patriotic missile. 
And look at that, we're shutting down the tank also. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's super, super useful when you need to engage against um, even the tanks that are defensive. Ooh, hold on a second. This is a no, let's move over here, guys. Fellas, fellas, let's get out of there. <laughs> that area is way too crowded with the... Uh, with mines, so we definitely need to get out of here. Let's have to use the orbital strike. Well, that's probably that will do it. Let's kill my troop. No, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was a joke. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Oh, wow, these guys are gonna get pissed. <laughs> All right. Oh, General Samir, uh -huh. the Desert Scorpion. I have fought the ADF in this land, and before the easily won, I will humiliate you once again in front of your own troops. Really, dude? Really? Come on, can, can you be a little more friendly? I mean, uh, I mean what's, what's the dealio? What's the dealio in here? Okay, let me see. Do I need to get any troops? We'll double check in a second. Uh, I, did, I think I didn't lose. Wow, we got all the troops. Awesome. All right, let's start building something because definitely we got in. We probably need to upgrade. Uh, can we upgrade the factory? I wonder if I can upgrade the factory. Oh, no. I need 11. I can upgrade this. I need to upgrade this. Probably the storage over here, the bunker. Or oh, I can keep upgrading my other buildings. Oh, there's so much to upgrade! So much to upgrade! Wow, okay. Definitely, definitely need to move probably. Um, probably upgrade one of the fields. Right? Alright, let's, let's start doing this one. We're gonna start upgrading that one now. We're gonna request help! Help! Thank you. Help is on the way. By the way, let me double check real quick. Remember, you were part of an alliance. There's nothing better to donate at least time. Let's donate time at the beginning, okay? If you cannot donate resources, we can donate time. That is super important. Okay, we donate then, donate, donate, donate. Everybody happy? Okay, let's get out of here. All right, so we're ready to roll. Let's go for the next mission. Are we moving in the Middle East? Okay. Yes, all this mission did looks extremely easy. Well, that's because I've been... Doing more multiplayer and holding my... St I hold the campaign a little bit for when I have a really nice, relaxed time to play it. And now now this is, this is the time. So we're definitely going to... Let me see if we can continue with the campaign before moving into multiplayer. Okay? All right. So here we go. Uh, oh, I missed a really good opportunity. That was a perfect, perfect moment for me to deploy the A-10, bring down two of the towers and also the commanders that are defending the base. We can wait for these guys, or maybe maybe the guys are gonna get into this area in the middle. There is a chance. Yes, yes, the guy in this direction. <laughs> you have no idea what I got prepared for you, fellas. All right, let me see. Where's the? How do you gonna move? No. Yes. No. Ah. Really? No. Keep moving. Keep moving. Okay. Well, we, you gotta be patient. Okay. If there is no time, there is no counter. Well, you just need to wait. Wait for the correct moment. Uh, why is so important? Remember, the A-10 is really, really valuable. Okay, so the A-10 is... Uh, boom. It requires a lot, a lot of energy. So definitely we need to be careful when we use it. Alright, so we're going to deploy the tanks. We're going to deploy the steel tank in the back. Also some infantry. Tomahawk, Tomahawk, infantry in front. And we're moving forward. Hopefully, we're going to be able to bring... Okay, that tower is down. Perfect. The other tower is down. Let's try to heal. I want to use my steel tanks. The problem with the steel tanks is that they take forever to construct. Okay, forever. Trust me, forever. It's a lot. It's like a half hour for no wrong. Look at the steel tank in front, in the top. This guy's holding that sentry gun, stunning him with the EMP like crazy. That is awesome. That is super, super cool. Super, super useful. This. Uh, EMP attack. Let's go to your Oman as a scout and see what we have. Shouldn't be a problem. This base is not an issue. But again, we need to clean the whole area. We are in the Middle East. Our mission is to move forward. Okay, so definitely. Oh, A10 perfect. That's the perfect time for those guys. Boom. Good night. Okay, that wasn't really complicated. Let's see what we can start deploying our troops. This, that's the only deployment. Yeah, that's the only landing zone. Wow, that's going to hurt. Okay, we're gonna deploy this. Tomahawks. I'll probably deploy. Uh, let me deploy one A10 in there, just because I want to edge. I want to avoid the the mines. Now that Tomahawks are in um, position, we can deploy the soldiers. We got the Rangers in the back. 
I want to put the Rangers protecting the Tomahawks if it's possible. Okay, these guys are just moving. I don't, I don't even. <laughs> I'm sure these guys don't even need protection. But anyway, A10 is there. Boom. Everybody's down. Yes, still tank. Try to. Okay, we just shut down that watchtower and that probably will do it. Perfect. Wow, we're doing really good. Really, really good. Okay. Awesome. All right, so to finish this episode, let's go into a PvP match. Yes, because General Samir Ahan, yes, he, he hasn't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> Show no mercy for the week. This invention by my punic forces will end in disgrace. Uh, my friend, we are just rolling right now. Uh, I don't know if you realize that, but we are rolling. So uh, this is the, this all this area is something that I'm gonna finish really, really soon. That is my plan at least, and then we can continue with the other side probably go to Europe but uh, let's get ready let's go to a, a quick match okay all right here we go the moment of truth let's start planning this attack what do we have in here we got artillery level six in there artillery level five artillery level six over here the quartz separated so that that's cool there is uh, there is a tri triangle in here but um, if we bring down this one we got direct access to the headquarter, right? Because this one doesn't even cover the headquarter. So if we if we attack from this area, from here, okay, making an opening. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Uh, we just need to probably deal with this uh, artillery. Doom defense. We we still not sure what it is. Uh, Dome defense could be a sentry. It could be a thiel. Hopefully it's not a thiel. Otherwise we'll be in trouble. Uh, what else do we have? And then we have this defense over here. So, we are not in bad shape if we attack from this area. This will be probably my path. Alright, so let's give it a shot. Let's attack. Let's see what we can do. Alright. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Alright. Ooh, I just missed a super good opportunity to bring down those uh, rangers in there. It would be good to destroy those rangers. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna deploy the A-10 right in the middle between the artillery A and the down. Doom defense. Oh. That wasn't bad at all. That wasn't bad at all. Now, how we can get some extra points? We need more points. We need 13, we need 7 more points. We can probably deploy some units in here. Okay, we're gonna deploy some units in here just to get some points. There you go, we're gonna Let's try to it. get some... Uh, ba -ba -ba. There you go. The idea is to get as much, as many command points as we can, so we can have enough to start using the A10 one more time. You see, we're getting close. We still can get close. We're getting those points. Are we getting the A10? Perfect. Now we got the 13 points that we need for the A10. The A10 is gonna bring down everything. Now they regroup all the troops together. Mission complete. We were able to destroy that triangle of troops just because that that triangle of defense is just because we were uh, able to get those a10 at those command points perfect all right let's see a10 bring down the other field it's almost down but we have the steel tank right now taking care of everything you see we got the soldiers in there hopefully the soldiers are gonna start focus and they're gonna focus in the target let's get together let's get in this corner guys let's not do anything crazy we got this battle Medic kid, first kid let's see if we can heal the, oh, the medic went down, which is of course not good, but the command center headquarters is going down, my friends. It's going down. Perfect. Now we can use an EMP in this area. Shut down the field because that's probably the most dangerous defensive building that we need to face right now. We're going to bring that down. We're going to probably bring down this turret over here. Oh, I forgot there is another, another artillery. Let's get close to the artillery. And when we get close to the artillery, we can... Oh, actually, we don't need to get close to the artillery. <laughs> Not needed at this point. Perfect. Perfect. So, the, the strike in this attack was work out quite okay. We found the weak spot. Then, after using the A-10, I did what I could in order to get all the... Okay, we can retreat now. I don't need else. Let's retreat, guys. Retreat. Retreat. Let me use the EMP. I don't want any of my troops dying. Good night. Good night, Mr. Artillery. It was nice to see you. Uh, and the idea was that after the first A-10, the plan was to get 
as many command points as possible in order to have the second A-10 that can bring down that artillery, that the that turret and also that field turret that was close to the headquarters. And the plan worked out perfect. We got enough point, we were able to deploy, destroy, destruction. There you go, fellas, this is the game hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, Empires and Allies. We're gonna continue with this amazing game in another episode. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.